Hi, I'm Teacher Randy. Welcome to another tech vlog for Practical Research 2. For today's lesson, we're going to learn how to construct a research title. For this topic, here is the most essential learning competency that you need to master. Maraming suliranin ngayon ang nangangailangan ng solusyon at mga katanungan nangangailangan rin ng sagot. Now, being a student and researcher, paano ka tutulong upang mabigyan ng sagot o solusyon ang mga ito? Para sa tech vlog na ito, ating tatalakayin kung paano uumpisan ang research sa pag-construct ng research title. Unang tip sa pag-construct ng research title. Your research title describes what this study all about. Ibig sabihin, kung ano ang your research topic, dapat mag-reflect ito sa iyong research title. Pangalawa, your research contains high specificity level. Tama nga naman, dapat kung gagawa ka ng research title, dapat maging specific ka, lalong-lalo na kung ang mga ilalagay mo ay mga tao, lugar, oras, at iba pa. Number three, your research title is academically phrased or not worthy. Iwasan maging wordy sa title. Tandaan, title ang ginagawa mo, hindi essay. Number four, your research title is within the 12 word requirement of the American Psychological Associations or the APA. Para i-check kung naging wordy na ang iyong title, tignan kung pasok pa ba ito sa number of word requirement ng APA. Number 5. If your research title contains more than one line, it should be written in an inverted triangle. Dapat, nakaayos ng pa-inverted triangle ang yung research title upang mas maayos itong mabasa. And number 6. The variables being investigated should be included in the title. Ibig sabihin, dapat sa title pa lang mababasa na agad ang mga variables na kasama sa iyong research. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoy learning with you. I am Teacher Randy, happy to serve.